Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is January 26, 2023, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Promise Fulfilled. The scripture is from Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but they doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Amen. Today's story is from uh, Neri, uh, uh, Neri, who lives in Argentina. When my husband and I received a, an urgent message that my father was not doing well, we immediately bought plane tickets and flew to Buenos Aires. Two cousins met us upon arrival. I asked them which hospital my father was in only to be told that he had died. As I tried to grasp the situation, the despair made it difficult to breathe. I thought, my father is gone. I have no idea how I will live without him. I was with my mother when we arrived at the church for my father's funeral service. As we were walking in, I felt the warm touch of someone's hand on my arm. I turned, thinking it was my husband, but no one was there. I believe in my heart that it was Jesus Christ taking me by the arm, giving me strength for the coming days. I don't remember the rest of the time during the visitation, only that warm touch and the feeling of comfort, love, and support it gave me. Each time I remember that moment, I acknowledge the reality of today's scripture. The Lord fulfilled that promise to me and never left my side. Amen. Jesus said, I am with you always to the very end of the age. It was Jesus' promise and Jesus keep, is keeping his promise in our lives. Jesus is with us. Jesus is taking care of us. And Jesus is giving us peace and everything that we, we need. When I pray to God in my private time, I usually feel God's touch. God touches my heart and having, having me, let me, uh, letting me have God's peace, grace, strength. Many times I cry while I'm praying. Because God touches me. The tears. is the tears of joy and peace. Through that, I always feel that God is with me and God is taking care of me. And I praise God for God's mercy and grace. Whenever I pour out my heart to God through prayer, God touches my heart. 
whenever I poured out my situations and issues that I have to handle and take, God is giving me peace and strength to handle it and overcome it. God is with me. God is with you. Please take the time to have fellowship with God through meditation on, on the Bible, through the reading the Bible, through the prayer. Please pour out your heart on God and let God have the chance to touch you and touch your heart. God touches our hearts, our lives in many ways. Even though I gave you just one example, the prayers, I mean, God's touched while I'm praying. God touches us in many ways. Through our friends and family, through our church family, God helps us and God let us have God's peace, God's comfort, God's help, and God's hands. And God is saying to us, I am with you. Little Fourth Church family, God is with you. Whether you recognize God's presence in your lives or not, God is with you. That is true. And the truth never change. As Jesus promised to us, I am with you to the very end of the age. God is with us. Jesus is with us. And God will be with us forever. Not only the journey on earth, but also the new life in heaven. Church family, you are not alone. You are not alone. God is with you. And Jesus is with you. And God is taking care of you because God loves you so much. Jesus put Jesus' mercy and grace on you because Jesus loves you. Church family, let us have that confidence and assurance in our lives, in our hearts, and let us live out our life with courage. Don't forget, God is with you. And God is taking care of you. Let us pray. Merciful God, when our spirits are crushed, remain with us and sustain us. Thank you for the constancy of your love. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and thank you. Bye-bye.